excited about saying thank you, you know, to the fans and uh, to the readers. You know, every material thing I have in this life, I owe to readers and booksellers. That is Don Winslow, best-selling author of 22 novels, who joined me for the podcast just before heading out on a massive book tour for City on Fire. City on Fire is book one in another trilogy, with the sequels already written and the movie rights already sold. Now, with this book's release, Winslow dropped a bombshell on readers. Here's a look at his Twitter. The City on Fire trilogy will be the last three new books he'll publish, announcing his retirement from writing. Not the only reason this book is special, though. City on Fire is the first time Winslow has set his characters where he came from, Providence, Rhode Island, to begin with. The action starting at an end of summer clam bake in the 1980s, where a beautiful woman's presence threatens the tenuous balance of power between the Italians and the Irish. Winslow, considered among the best crime fiction writers of our time, had challenged himself years ago to read classical literature. And it was then, while contemplating the Iliad and the Odyssey, that an idea was sparked to revisit those themes, retold as a sweeping story of organized crime. All those great themes of betrayal and loyalty or disloyalty, love and lust, power, subjugation, uh, you know, were all happening in American crime at that time. And so I related to it immediately, and I thought, yeah, at some point I'm going to sit down and write this as a contemporary crime novel. For more of my conversation with Don Winslow, find Olivia's Book Club wherever you get your podcasts.